James staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Gossip is Who's so Nils? boring. Exactly. And anyway, so, there wouldn't even I figured be out something. James right, I can go back up here, right? I think it's gonna explode. Uh, check it out. Oh, gotta get back here. I push one, and I have an inventory. It's pretty sweet. So we're gonna use this. Sauce is sauce is baiting. Use it. This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. Maybe if I, nope, really. Not gonna use it. Can you just use it? This is the button. There you go. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, okay. Haha. <laughs> nice. So, also I remembered from our last playthrough. That right here. I'm gonna jump down here. Oh my god, what's going on? Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kruller? Hmm. Or somewhere else? Let's see. Kids cabin. Never the parking lot. Let's go to Ford's, I mean my sanctuary. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, yes noble psycho master. Double psycho not. All right. That guy on the screen right there looks like Big Boss. Are these all the psycho knots of the world? Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, hmm. but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. True Psychic Tales. Hmm. It's all your ranking leaves. Where is that a disguise? So, yeah, I wonder about that. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, I've got. I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, no, he's when really I'm in disguise, keeper. I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. <laughs> kids, man. Uh, what are you doing here at Whispering Rock? What are you doing here at Whispering exactly. Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. Oh, that meteor. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. That's good. What's, what is it? What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but hmm. it can also make unstable people more unstable. Of course. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this yeah. valley an interesting history. Gourd. Mm, this one. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, Heck you know, yes. these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, not like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. He is now Nick Fury. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. Hmm. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize <laughs> yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. That's silly to me. What is all this equipment? Well, we just, did we just talked about that. Oh, uh, I better go. I better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. Oh, snap. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make God. me appear, you can do it with this special device. What is it? Is that a piece of bacon? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, bacon. yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. <laughs> I drop everything and come running. Man, okay. I do the same. Do you have like a little baggie or something I can put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Oh, God. We gotta go. Sorry, man. Alright, so we can build side challenge markers here. Can I fall down to safety? Oh, hey, that's crazy. Anyway, uh. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you. Yeah, help me out here. Help work. me out, Ford. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I Whoa. know what those are. Mental cobwebs are. You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Hmm. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract a any projection. cobwebs That's you find. Neat. The dust stores the cobweb psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here. Ah. Bring it up to the loom and weave that tangled it's mess. It's like the ghost trap from dust Ghostbusters. Like a card from a dust side busters. challenge marker, which brings us are. to this fellow over oh, hi. here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and you will <laughs> kick out a bona fide side challenge market, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Yeah. Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. Yeah. And soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yeah. Yep, basically. Have fun. I can't wait. So anyway, what was that? I see you. Someone left their card here. It's mine now. So let's see. Oh, okay. come on, let me through. I gotta put my cards in. I've waited so long for this. Collectibles, you'll be mine. Mmm. Oh yeah, buddy. Rank seven. Three more, and we can start burning things. So let's get out of here. So I got that button to work and go do Sasha 9's advanced psychic training. I'm hoping Sasha's 9 training will just include maybe some like milk and cookies and if I down them down real fast, he'll give me a badge. That's what I'm hoping for. Agent 9? Agent I'm here for the advanced training. Let's do this. You're not gonna make me cry. Oh, but I am gonna get them cards because I need them. Because I like to burn things, what can I say? Even though I could probably just jump down. So, what are we gonna learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Yeah, what are we gonna learn? I would like to know, Sasha and I. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. Oh, come on. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain, brain tumbler? Brain tumbler. This brain tumbler. So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. Sure. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent. Crazy. Tumble away. Now just relax. Oh this will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Of course. So we're in Raz's own mind? Wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're hmm. still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious. A place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. Hmm. You have just begun your training, Rasputin. So many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for oh, you. See. And those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one. Oh. Your own. Ah. Step through okay. it and we'll continue. Let's do that then. Man, I'd like some help because I've been hearing that heartbeat sound for a very long time. Brain Tumbler Experiment. Rasputin, yes. can you hear me? Yeah, of course. Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, oh. what can you see? A stagecoach. I see a rundown gypsy caravan. 
Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. Oh my. I see. Compelling. Makes sense being Rasputin and all. <sighs> and that is his name. Hey, teleport worm. Oh, we're definitely in another level. Gotta get myself. My own figure. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Hold on. I see figments that I must collect. Mm. My own vault. Come on, let me punch you. I'll cut you off. Let's see, Rasputin's getaway. So, as you see, there's a guy who's holding up at least, you know, five people in a family. And somebody gave this little boy a dollar. I'm going to guess that's Rasputin. And so Rasputin was all lifting weights with his feet and reading comics, and everyone was watching him. Oh, it's the pamphlet. Oleander's pamphlet. And his dad was all like, Shut up, Shin! And then Rasputin left. And he rode away on a little burrow. Which is a which is a donkey. And that's why he made it to Whispering Rock. The Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, let's go on in. I'm not sure. Whoa. It's getting fuzzy. What's going on, man? Uh oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Aha! I was in an egg. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? Hmm. A bunny. I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Oh my god, what is that? An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Oh. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun, rabbit hole. you and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like, two peas in a pay! No. Come back here! He's got little hearts, though. He must love me. He just... He's just scared of his food. Follow unfamiliar animal and he's funny. And collect figments, of course. And get a rank up. Oh, man. So close. What is that thing? I'll punch it. I'll punch it. Sure, I gotta show who's boss. Alright. Figments, figments, figments. I think he went this way. Hey, there he goes. Come back, Mr. Bun. I wanna hang out. I got some luggage tags. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. My gosh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. Oh no. It's fascinating. As if someone else. Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Did that thing just throw up like a. That should not have happened. A helmet you need at to me? try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, hmm. in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me I'm, when you're I'm ready. I'm always down when I'm ready to fight. Defeat the big monster I saw. Alright. I think we can do that. Okay. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? I think I'm well, ready. Nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. <laughs> it usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm Rasputin. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Damn right. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? Kill, kill, what she doesn't kill. know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. I'm right back off. after I talk with Agent Cruller. What if I use my bacon phone? I'm curious about the bacon phone. Show me what I can do with the bacon phone. 
popping out your head because I do what I want. Mm. 